Hey guys, welcome to TCTN. I want to show you something. Years ago, I purchased um, a bonsai forest. A bonsai is just considered a tree. Mine was a bonsai forest because it was five trees. And it came that way. There were two baby sisters and the three older ones, which were, which were the taller trees. And I purchased it in Maryland. And they kept it in a greenhouse type environment. The ficus salicarius bonsai, they're more tropical. And I think moving it from where it was to here in Delaware into my environment, the two baby sisters didn't make it. And it took me a long time to accept that. <laughs> but the three larger sisters, they were functioning okay. Uh, winter came and went, and it lasted about two years. And then there was, it was earlier this year, around January, February, and the temperature fluctuated extremely it might be you know 30 degrees outside and inside my apartment is like 80 degrees thanks to my downstairs neighbor he saves me a lot on my electric bill so i'm not complaining um <laughs> so it would be you know i would turn my my heat off because i'm getting his heat but then like if i would go away for the weekend or go away for a few days and the temperature outside would drop and for whatever reason one of his caretakers would turn his heat down, my apartment would get cold. And so it went from hot to cold, hot, hotter to cold. <laughs> and it went that way for like a week where the temperature was just extremely fluctuating. And the three big sisters didn't make it. And I kept, you know, tending to it and thinking, come on, hang in there. <laughs> but I had to finally accept, okay, they're dead. And so I was thinking, wow, like now there's nothing living in my apartment except me. <laughs> and I thought again about getting fish. I can't do furries because of my asthma and my allergies. But it was just like, ugh. And I could see why having pets really do help people dealing with, you know, seasonal depression or other situations in their life or just being depressed in general or dealing with anxiety because it takes the, the focus off of themselves and it's like, okay, I need to go walk the dog. I need to go change the litter box. I need to do this. I need to do that. Whereas when you live alone and you don't have children, it's just, like, who knows if you're a bum all day? Like no, nobody is there to, to, to care or be like, hey, let's do this or do that. You have to have a lot of self-motivation. <laughs> to do things because there's no external motivation. Well, not much. And so what I did was I was talking to one of my aunts and I was telling her that my bonsai forest had, I finally acknowledged that it had died. And she's like, oh, are you going to get another one? And I was like, Ugh. I was like, I don't know. I said, I have thought about it, but then I'm like, because uh. then I'm like, what if that one dies too? Like, that'll be devastating. <laughs> I'm not good at keeping plants and I haven't had plants. I haven't had flowers again because of the allergy thing, but bonsais don't have sense to them. There are some that have, that grow unedible berries and it might have a scent. And so on the website, which is easternleaf.com, which I will link below, it tells you about each bonsai. When you click on it, it tells you about it, it tells you how to take care of it. It tells you, you know, just different things about that particular bonsai. And so after chatting back and forth with one of my aunts, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get another one. Ended up getting two. The first one, <laughs> this one is a, a large juniper. I purchased a juniper because they're good in warm weather and they're good in cold weather. So I'm like, that's great. Water them. Um, you, it says to keep the soil moist. What am I looking for? It also came with a pamphlet <laughs> from Eastern Leaf, and it has it tells you how to take care of it, like how much sunlight does it need, what type of sunlight. The juniper is best in filtered or shaded light. It tells you it can survive in cold weather. It's extremely hardy. Um, it tells you what to do to avoid the browning of the needles. It tells you how often to water it, how often to fertilize it. And so I'm like, this is really low maintenance. And the ones I purchased are already trained. They do have um, starter kits where you just buy a little bonsai and you train it and you get the wiring and you train it to form however you want it to form. I'm a little lazy. <laughs> so the two I purchased are already trained. This one is a large juniper. And it did come with the rock. The reason I purchased this one is because it's in an oval 
um, setting. And I purchased that one because my ficus salicarius, I had purchased the oval um, humidity tray for that. And the tray does come with the rocks. And what this does is, is when you water it, there's two holes underneath one here and one here and there's a mesh covering over it so when you water it just like with plants the drainage can go down into here and this being a humidity tray the water will then if it's enough it, it will then go back up into the plant and so that's why i purchased this one because i already had the humidity tray and so i am liking it and this is how it came they packaged it very well i did notice there is some very minor browning underneath let me see if I can not drop this. Right here, there's some very minor browning. On this side, this is what I was concerned about. The browning that's in here. And I kept in mind that I I did the free ship. What did I pay for shipping? Where's my thing? It was in it was in shipment for about a week. And so I'm like, okay, it's in a box. <laughs> with no sunlight and they do water it well before they send it but okay it was in a box with no sunlight and no fresh air for up to a week and so this browning that you see is actually greener than it was when I first purchased it I had it sitting on my pony wall and then I moved it over by the window for it to get more direct filtered <laughs> sunlight and so I am really digging it and I am going to water it today it says to feed it about once a month and I already did have um, fertilizer and soil and other <laughs> things from when I had my ficus salicarius. The second one that I purchased, I know I purchased two, right? <laughs> this one <laughs> has a rectangular shaped humidity tray and it, and it came with rocks and you can and you can click if you want the tray or not but it is beneficial to have the tray and this one is called the fan style because of the pot, which I liked because it's a different shape. And it did come with this rock, the same way that one came with a rock. This rock and this one I had from my ficus salicarius, and so I just put this one in here. But this one did come with this one. And this one did not have any browning. The leaves are getting a little lighter, and I'm thinking just because the season is changing. And I noticed when... I opened it I thought it was just like lint this is a scratch and I'm like this had to have been like this before they sent it because it was packaged so well it was wrapped in foam and then a bunch of peanuts and bubble wraps so I'm like I know this did not get scratched up in the box and so I emailed in I took a picture of it and I emailed in and they messaged me back like in a couple hours saying that they were gonna send me a new pot. And I'm like, oh wow, that's great. And I received it today. And this is why I know that didn't get scratched in shipment. You see all these peanuts in here? And so I'm going to <laughs> try not to make a mess. And I have an empty box over here that I'm going to try to carefully dump some of the peanuts in that are going in there and some are going on the floor. Uh, okay, I think we got it. And and this is how the pots were, the trees were packaged, except the greenery was up top and it, it was, the base was wrapped like this <laughs> and the greenery was sticking out up through the top and it was peanuts everywhere. So even being in the box and being in transit for up to, up to a week, it didn't have anywhere to move. Like it was extremely well packaged and one day I will have scissors over here. So that noise was me just breaking open the foam. And it's like so much tape. <laughs> they package stuff really well. I do recommend Eastern Leaf. And I've already sent the website to a few people. And then inside the foam, there's a bubble wrap. That's how I know that did not get scratched <laughs> during shipment because that's how this is, sorry for all that noise. 
this is how all of that was packaged. And so as you can see, this I am just now opening this. So this is the new one. This is the current one. And also when they emailed me saying they were gonna send me a new one, they said I do not need to do a full repotting. They said just transfer it from that one into this one. And that is so considerate because who knows how to take care of bonsai, except people who do <laughs> this for a living or unless they're just a bonsai enthusiast. Um, but they really make sure that you know how to take care of it. And for them to have messaged me back within, it was within two hours and say they were gonna send out a new one. I was just like, wow, that was really fast. And I sent it, the email maybe like seven o'clock at night. So I'm like, okay, well they're probably closed or not monitoring email right now. <laughs> they messaged me back. So I do recommend Eastern Leaf if you're looking for a bonsai, if you want a starter kit, you can get a starter kit if you want ones that are already trained like the ones i have that i've shown you you can get that and it tells you you know there are different types of bonsais that they have different pictures and even though it says they may not look in person the way they do on their website both of the ones i received look exactly like they did on the website some of the reviews for certain ones will say oh it didn't look like the picture um, mine's look like the picture. And so I was pleasantly surprised about that. And so if you're looking for something low maintenance, <laughs> something easy to take care of, something that gives you instructions on how to take care of it, and on the website, you know, they have everything you need. They have the different pruning tools, the soil, the fertilizer, if you want different um, I just passed the page. If you want a different um, type of setting for it, you can put it in a different container. It is just really great. And they have some you can send as gifts. There's some that's more decorative. I mean, all of this is on the website. And as I said, I will list it below. And, you know, just take a peek and see if it's something that you may be interested in. Bonsai, I'm sorry, says favors. Mini juniper bonsai favors. So I guess if you're having a party and you want to give them as favors, you can <laughs> purchase a set of the mini ones <laughs> and give them away. And also what I was surprised to find out is Eastern Leaf also has teas. Loose tea. And they do have some that are bag teas. And so I'm thinking now like I might order some of their, their Japanese teas. So we will see. And candles. Soy candles. So I'm just babbling right now. <laughs> I forgot they had soap. They also have soap. So if you're <laughs> just wanting to browse around body lotion. So if you're just bath tablets, sea salt soak. <laughs> and they have a Q&A page on here and so this they sent for free which was great this one how much was this one how much was my oh geez i think this one i don't want to lie to you um i think this one was 60 70 i think this one might have been like 60 something dollars and again it comes with the base and it comes this is how it came in the mail Everything you see here is this is how it came. So that was 60 something for that. There was a 10% off coupon. This, I believe, was like 35. And this came with this rock. The rock was in here and it came with this. And that included, well, the humidity tray was extra. And I think it might have been $7 for the humidity tray. And you can opt to not get it because it'll ask you when, you, when you look at whichever tree you're thinking of getting, it'll have options, humidity tray, extra rocks, fertilizer, tools, blah, blah, blah. So you just click what you want to be added into your shipment. That's it for this video. I'm just really excited. So I'm going to transfer this one today into the new pot and I'm going to water the other one again. I'm going to sit her back by the window so she can get more green. 
and I'm going to wait about a week I think I've had them now I think two weeks and I'm wondering if I need to prune some of the browner leaves but I'm not sure I'm trying to wait to see since she does like being over by the window better so thank you for watching if you have bonsais let me know how they're working for you what got you in the bonsais do you enjoy them did you get it yourself was he given as a gift um and that's it i keep looking at them because i'm just i'm happy to have them <laughs> so thanks guys for watching and you will see me in the next video